at midnight I will rise to give thanks to you because of your righteous judgments. At zero hours, that means midnight, the first hour of the day, evil spirits begin to work to disturb, molest and attack persons preventing them from having peace and sleep. For it is written, but at midnight there was a cry, look the bridegroom is coming, come out to meet him. Many have been crying due to the spiritual attacks that have been occurring in the middle of the night. As the Bible says, in a moment they will die, and the people will be troubled at midnight and pass away, and the mighty will be taken away without a hand. Many feel terrified, unable to react while being choked, molested, tormented, and caught in horrific nightmares resulting in sleepless nights. For the Bible says, at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake, so the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's shackles were loosened. Similarly, on the air, the midnight prayer will break the bondage that holds you captive. A blessed good morning to those of you who are watching us right now. And welcome back to our warfare prayer. As you can see, I have here in my hand the word of God. And the word of God is true. The word of God is faithful enough to make your entire life different. In order to transform your life. Do you believe in the word of God? Because if you believe in the word of God, in the promise of God, you have to see these promises taking place in your life. My dear, I want you to prepare your glass of water because before the end of this program, we are going to be praying for those of you who are broken hearted. For those of you who have a wounded heart. It seems as if you have a scar on your heart. Perhaps your heart, as you can see, is just like this image here. You have been going through a lot of pain. Your heart is torn apart. Your heart is torn into many pieces. You have been facing a lot of problems with inside of you concerning your heart. Perhaps people, they have walked on all over you. People, they have backstabbed you. People, they have betrayed you. They have been unfaithful to you. Maybe you have been going through a lot of problems when it comes to your love life, your marriage. And it seems as if nothing has been working for you. You are trying with all of your strength in order to keep your marriage. You know, to get married, it's easy. However, to maintain that marriage, it is not easy. However, it's not impossible at the same time. And you, perhaps, this is in your heart right now. You have been going through a lot of pain. You have a lot of scars. Not only when it comes to your love life, but perhaps your mother, you are watching right now, and your heart is torn into pieces. Because you have tried your very best with your children to raise them in a good way. Making sure that they have everything in life. Making sure that they become somebody in society. And today, despite all the sacrifices that you have made for your children, today, they don't want to talk to you anymore. They betray you. They don't want to have nothing to do with you anymore. And it shattered your heart knowing that you invested much, you sacrificed, you showed them love, appreciation, and they turned their back against you. Well, I want to show you what the Word of God, see what the Word of God says here in the book of Psalm, chapter 147, verse 3. The Bible says like this, it says, He heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds he heals the broken hearted 
and binds up their wounds. Perhaps you are watching right now and you are wounded. You have been scarred. Perhaps you have been abused verbally, emotionally, physically, mentally. You have went through a lot of things in your past, in your home, or even in many relationships you have been in, you have been hurt. People, they have been, you know, despising you, neglecting you, treating you anyhow. But this is what God, He wants to do. He wants to heal those of you who have a broken heart. It seems as if your heart is in pieces. And uh, He wants to bind up all your wounds. In order for you to become happy, your heart must be restored. Because if you have a broken heart, if your heart is broken, you can find the perfect partner, the perfect spouse, companion. But if your heart is broken, you are never going to be happy. You are never going to have peace in your life. Speaking about that, I want to show you right now the real life story of Yolanda. You are going to see how her life was, the problems she went through in her family. However, through faith, believing upon the word of God, God was able to restore her life. How many are the couples who no longer look at each other inside the house? They live as if they were two strangers. Fights. Infidelities, lies. All of this has led the couple in only one way. The breakup. The word happiness no longer exists among them. So then, they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let not man separate. If you are crying without knowing what else to do with your relationship, join us on this great day. How many Separation, broken marriage, can it be rebuilt? I used to feel really sad, really empty all the time. Maybe because in my family, they don't have that closeness that normally families have. I used to fight with my brother all the time. Uh, my, my grandmother used to be an alcoholic, but she died now, but she, she was an alcoholic and we used to get on really, really bad. My mom, it was, she, was, she was always putting me down. That led me to, to get into relationships that they were right at the wrong time. In the wrong relationships at the wrong time. I ran away from home when I was 18. Uh, pregnant and that was a disaster because obviously we weren't ready. I was like a child I was very innocent at the time. We used to fight a lot. We used to because of lack of money, lack of um, uh, lack of knowledge of how to deal with each other, like how to talk, how to communicate. So I was uh, run away with him thinking that this is it, this is my world now. We started physical fights to each other. So one day I just had to leave and run away again. I used to run away all the time. Every time I had a problem, I would run away. That's when I met uh, my second husband. That was, and that was another big mistake. It was at the wrong time. I was, I ended up with him because I needed someone. So that brought, bigger problems. We were seven years and it was a mess. He was unfaithful. He was, uh, we ended up in domestic, uh, domestic violence. I had to flee from him, this time with a second child as well. I had to flee from him and I had to leave that life. And the only way to do that was when I came to the health center that I learned how to use my faith. So Yolanda now is, um, I'm happy. I'm totally happy, not because people makes me happy, it's because I, I have happiness inside of me. I'm just happy, you know, I can face problems. I don't run away from them, you know, I face them knowing that, you know, there is a solution for every problem. Every problem is an opportunity. So that's who Jolanda is now. I'm, I'm, I can't, you know, I can't count 
my blessings with my hands. It's, every day is a joy. Every day is, is amazing. It's amazing. If you are suffering abuse and desperately in need of someone to listen or lend a helping hand, it doesn't matter who you are, your religion or race. Many are too afraid or ashamed to speak to anyone about their ordeal. We are there to help. Call the Universal Church right now. We also arrange home visits and hospital visits for anyone in need. Our call center is open 24 hours a day, all year round. Your call will be answered by someone who cares. Do you see, my dear friend, Yolanda, she doesn't need anyone to make her feel happy, to make her feel loved, to make her feel appreciated. She feels it from within inside of her heart. Do you know why? Because her heart is no longer like this one. You are going to see this heart. Her, her heart is no longer shattered into pieces. Her heart is no longer broken. Today, God, he fulfilled his promise in her life. And today, she has a new heart. She has a heart that has been healed. And for those of you who are watching us, you have this opportunity today. Look at me. Hey, hey. Wherever you are from, from the east, the west, the north, the south, today at 5 p.m. at number 40 South Key Port of Spain, we are going to have this special love therapy service. And it says here, you are going to learn how to love intelligently. This love therapy service, it's not just for love life, but it's also for those of you who have been facing a lot of family problems. Your heart has been broken into pieces because of the family problems, because of the problems in your love life. However, we are going to have a special prayer in our therapy of love service today at 5 p.m., Number 40, South Key Port of Spain. And we are going to be praying for all those who have a heart like this one here. We are going to be praying for those who have this broken heart. And I am sure that God he is going to repair, He is going to restore your heart, He is going to heal your heart, so that you may have peace with inside of yourself. And for those who are surrounding you as well, they are going to be at peace. They are going to be happy. Do you want a happy family? Do you want a happy marriage, love life? Then you cannot miss today. At 5 p.m., I am going to be there waiting for all of you. And I'm sure that God is going to bless you. So I would like for you to prepare now your glass of water. Because when we come back, we are going to be praying for all of you. We have people, Lord, they have been going through problems in their family, in their marriage, people who are sick, people who have financial problems, people that they have the world of problems to deal with. But I ask of you, my Father, that you may let your spirit to visit each and every one of them, my God, to set them free. Lord, bless and consecrate their water with your mighty power. Because when your people, Lord, they drink from this blessed water, let your light to shine bright upon their life. My God, I also pray for our nation of Trinidad and Tobago. My God, let your light to be upon our nation. Let your protection to be upon our nation. Bless and guide our nation. And also the government as well. The prime minister, his ministers, my God, give them wisdom and show them what they need to do in order, my Father, to make our nation to be a better place. Father, we place our lives, our country into your hands. In the name of the Father, the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And if you believe, say, I believe. Amen. You may drink from your water and receive the blessing of God upon your life. Well, my dear friend, we have come to the end of our program, and I'm sure that you are blessed. I'll be waiting for you today at number 40 South Key Port of Spain in our love therapy service. Bye-bye.